In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database from phpMyAdmin and how to drop, delete, or destroy databases from phpMyAdmin. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is TabTube. My name is Amulya. And for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to use XM server on my Windows 7 environment. And as you can see, I'm already running Apache and my SQL on my this XM server. So I'm going to close this. However, it's still running in the background. To go on to PHP my admin, I'll use my local uh, host on um, Google Chrome browser. And this takes me to the XM dashboard page. Here, uh, I need to go on to phpMyAdmin. So go to phpMyAdmin tab and click on that. This takes you to the phpMyAdmin new interface. This is totally new interface. So this is how you can launch your phpMyAdmin. Now to create a database. So these are the tabs that you have. To create a database, you go on to databases tab. And here you've got a few options. If you know much about MySQL, you can just execute the query from here, right? Otherwise, this is a very user-friendly interface. You simply name the database. So I'm going to name like new uh, DB. And if you are instructed to choose any specific collation, you can do that. Otherwise, you simply click create and any changes that you have to make you can do later on so yes you can create it now I'm going to click on create so your database has been created you can see the the query has been executed in the console section and this is your database so you get nothing no no tables created by default but you get a user created by default by PHP my admin and they name it root and that is a root user without any password so this is how you can create a database now to destroy delete or drop a database you make sure that you have selected the database that you want to destroy delete or drop and then um, you go on to operations so on this operations page you can make changes like whatever you want you can create a table you can choose the columns for a specific table you can rename the database to whatever you want to you can choose this specific collation if you need to and also copy the database wherever you want to so now here to delete it you simply come on to remove database section which is here and then click on drop database link now it's going to ask for if you really want to execute drop database new DB so this makes sure that it has it has it is already selected here new DB and then you click OK this will be executed here on the bottom so this has been executed and it also says empty set result and then um, yeah you will not find that new DB database anymore this has been executed so this is how you can create a database from here to make changes on that particular database you make sure you select the database and then go on to um, yeah operations that doesn't appear if you have not created any database however this is the test and you can go on to operations and drop it so this is how you can create a database on PHP my admin and you can destroy a database or delete or drop a database very easily on PHP my admin new interface so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel if you liked or hated the, anything in this video please leave a comment thank you so much goodbye for now